Hello! Oh, hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently 20 to 11 on Monday that I've just had a spam comment on my on my, on my my cake post. One of those who reckons that uh, God has given them a way to cure fucking diabetes oh, and shit. God, yes, yes, yes. Anyway, it is Monday the 29th of May 2023. I'm um, just finishing up a little bit of work, and then Shay and I are going to go for some cuddles. Can we play some um, Mario Party 9, maybe? Yeah? Yeah, that sounds good. I'm currently just finishing reading Ojo and Oz, and then I'm going to read... There's an Arthur C. Clarke up there, but I don't know which one it is. Okay. Now, I have a wonderful view in front of me of my beautiful girlfriend, who's not doing anything distracting at all. Stretching. She's just stretching, yeah. And, um... What was I saying? <laughs> yes, anyway, weekly reading vlog. I'm reading that... And then I will update you soon. Dane reads. We made cake, didn't we, Shay? We did. We did. Biscoff cake. Let's have a slice. Mm -hmm. Yo, what up? It's your boy, me. It is currently quarter past ten on Wednesday, the 31st of May. Tomorrow's June. Crazy. It's my birthday in June as well. Today, I made an absolutely banging... Um, pasta bake using it my mum sent me some early birthday presents and one of those included like this casserole dish and oh it is the shit mate it's really delicious uh, in fact i need to instagram that photo in a bit so hopefully this will remind me to do that um i'm still reading the line of kamar and against the fall of night by arthur c clark but i'm right at the end really enjoying it uh the line of kamar in particular was really good basically about this guy uh, he finds like a mysterious abandoned city that has loads of like technological advances and stuff and against the fall of night is basically an early version of the city and the stars which i have read so long ago that i don't remember any of it so i can't really compare the two but yeah, enjoying it, 3.5 out of 5. Next up, I'm going to read Too Much Information by Dave Gorman. Um, yeah, and other than that, I'm just cracking on with work and being productive, trying to get some projects handed over, because I have no money. So that's where we're at. Oh, and Shay's in Bristol at the moment, so uh, I'm all on my lonesome. It's just me and Biggie here, and Biggie is, you know, what he's like. I'll update you tomorrow. Yo, and hello. It is about five past eight on the morning of Friday, the 2nd of June, 2023. Your boy has not slept yet. Your boy is probably not going to sleep. Uh, we'll see. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. But I've been up all night. I've been doing, um, oh, what have I been doing? I've been doing all my housework. I've had a bit of a spring clean. So I've finished the indoor spring clean. I've just got some stuff out in the garden left to do. Plus a little trip to town to go to the bank and the post box, I think. And maybe Tesco to get a meal deal. We will see. Uh, I've also been setting up some job lots on eBay. I'm also listing like some of my vinyl records and board games and stuff, ones that I've got and I'm happy to keep, but that if I can sell them for a little extra cash, I will also happily part, part with them. So I've been photographing those slowly but surely and putting them up online. I've been reading Too Much Information by Dave Gorman. It's a non-fiction book just about how there's too much information in today's world, really. Uh, it's kind of humorous non-fiction. Very, very good so far, probably a four out of five. It came out in 2014, but it still doesn't feel dated, even though a lot of this stuff is about technology and Twitter and stuff and how that's kind of affecting us all. Um, but I am enjoying that. And then I'm probably going to read The Songs of Distant Earth by Arthur C. Clarke next. I've also done a lot of editing because I edit stuff while I list stuff on eBay and all that she's. Um, so I've, I've kind of caught up with a lot of my backlog of videos, to be honest. In fact, I'm actually going to run out of things to edit soon. So... There is that, but that's where I'm at. And I have ordered a new camera, it's on its way. In fact, there's loads of stuff on its way. Um, my bank hates me, yep. Yo, and hello, it is uh, quarter past nine on Saturday the 3rd of June, 2023. Uh, as you guys know, I didn't end up sleeping yesterday. I stayed up till about 8 p.m., then slept through for 20 odd hours until about 4 p.m. today, so I must have been tired. Um, I'm in the process of quitting vaping. To do that, I'm first switching to 0% uh, nicotine vapes. So at least I'm not addicted to nicotine. I figure it'll get a little bit easier after that. Um, I'm on about 28 hours without nicotine or something. So if I'm tetchy and grumpy, that's why. Went out in the garden very briefly today. I still have all of the weeding and stuff to do. I mean, I'm getting there. It's just taken an age, you know? Um, but yes, we've got some potatoes to harvest, which I want to do with Shay when she gets back. I've ordered some new trees as well, because one of the things on this, there's a thing on the back of the door around there, which is like a date ideas thing. And one of them is to plant a tree together. So I've ordered some new trees. Um, 
been sorting through some photos that I took at the music festival we went to last weekend. I'm still reading Arthur C. Clarke, The Songs of Distant Earth, which is still quite good. Strong 3.5, not quite a 4, but yeah, pretty good. Um, and yeah, I finished editing all of my shit yesterday as well. And I only have like two work projects ongoing, possibly three now that somebody's granted me access to a Google Sheet thing. Um, but yes, yeah, not a huge amount of work to do but I'm still gonna crack on with it. And in a little bit, I'm probably gonna go into the bedroom and watch something on Netflix with my feet up because I am tired and worn out. I. Right. Uh, hello, it is 25 to eight on Sunday, the 4th of June. Um, I have been out in the garden doing the last of the weeding and stuff today and sorting all of that is very nice outside. I am hay fevery as fuck though, so that's why I look like death. Um, I'm still reading Songs of Distant Earth by Arthur C. Clarke, still pretty good, very near the end now. I'm gonna read Rites of Passage by William Golding next. I did a uh, interview for a podcast earlier. So that was good, it's not actually gonna be out till next year, but it was fun to do that. Hopefully I will see Shay Shay soon, we will see. Oh, excuse me. Um, now I plan to just crack on with a little bit of productivity until midnight-ish and then I'll get into bed and watch some more. I started watching uh, Lost Home Movies of Nazi Germany, so that was quite interesting. So I'll probably watch some more of that. Um, but in the meantime, a little bit of tidying, a little bit of work, maybe even do my wee fit later. Um, and yes, I'm going to keep this vlog going until next week, so you have that to look forward to. Hello, very exciting news. I have a new camera, so I'm back on the camera here for y'all. Um, I don't know, I haven't played around with the settings too much. I'll probably need to do that at some point. Because it seems very dark at the moment. But it, prob it probably is just the settings I've got. Anyway, whatever. It is um, Monday the 5th of J uh, June 2023, uh, about 20 to 10. Uh, I had a client call earlier. I was supposed to have an interview for the radio show earlier, but that didn't go ahead. I can't say I'm particularly upset about it because it means more time for me to chill. Um, I'm still reading Rites of Passage. Oh, actually, probably I've finished reading um, that Arthur C. Clarke book I was reading. I'm now reading Rites of Passage by William Golding, which is just okay so far. Um, it's about like life on board a ship, basically. It's very beautifully written, but plot-wise, it's a bit thin on the ground. But yeah, sure, I'm enjoying it. I'm gonna read *The City and the Stars* by Arthur C. Clarke next, even though I feel like I've already read it, but apparently I haven't. I should probably check Goodreads just to make sure that I haven't. Um, hopefully, seeing Shay tomorrow. She is back from Bristol now, um, and it is my birthday on Sunday. I will be turning 34, so that's what I got for you. Hello everybody! Oh, I look very fetching. I've just remembered I have these bows in my hair that Shay put on for me, so thank you Shay. Um, it is currently coming up to quarter past ten on Wednesday the 7th of June. I turned 34 in four days. I'm gonna be an old, old man. I'm still reading Rites of Passage by William Golding. It's still pretty good. Like a strong 3.5, not quite a 4 out of 5. Um, and yeah, after that I'm gonna read whatever Arthur C. Clarke book I have up, up next. Uh, Shay and I were out in the garden earlier, so Shay was helping me. We um, we uh, harvested some potatoes and some kale, and we had crispy kale with mashed potato and like vegan fish and like some homemade um, seafood sauce for dinner. So that was really nice. Shay's just been tinkering with a bit of pottery for the first time in a while, haven't you, Shay? Shay, and she's uh, she's unsure what's coming next. So watch this space to find out. Um, Biggie is down on the floor somewhere. He's in the bad books at the moment because he's been biting me because he's a bad boy. And uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, uh, it is me. Hello. It is um, 25 past 11 on, uh, what is it, Thursday the 8th of June. Almost, oh my lord, I'm almost 34. Shay, I'm so old. Are you not? Yeah, she says, yes, you are. Um, I think they heard you. I finished reading, finally finished reading that William Golding book, um, whatever it was called. I've already forgotten what it was called. It was alright though, 3.5 out of 5. Very beautifully written. It, it did become a bit of a chore towards the end. Uh, we had Chinese earlier, Chinese food. Where is it? So there's some left on the floor. Sweet and sour tofu, gyozas, um, and spring rolls. It's nice. Biggie's over there in the doorway. He wants to go inside to see Shay. Shay's reading her book. Um, she's been doing a little bit of arty stuff. There is um, a Hello Kitty paint thingy. 
so yes, that's where we're at. I'm currently reading The City and the Stars by Arthur C. Clarke. It's all right so far, probably gonna be like 3.5 out of five, as, as usual, there's, there's not too much to say about it really. Um, after that, I'm gonna read Speedy and Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson, or at least that is the plan. Uh, I had a client call earlier, been doing some more work and stuff, all of that stuff. Oh yeah, we've got a Lego heart to make. We're gonna go we're gonna try and make a Lego heart later. Um and then yes, tomorrow is the uh open mic at Wickham Art Centre. On Saturday, my band the Ilk are playing in the garden there for, as part of the opening of Books Arts Week. And then Sunday is my birthday and hopefully we're gonna go to Odds Farm Park and we're gonna recreate our first date. Um and see some animals and play some mini golf. And so yes, that is where I'm at. And my mum's in Egypt at the moment, I'm very jealous. And Biggie's eating a dreamy, I can hear him, I can hear him crunch. Hello everybody, it is um, 10 past five on Friday the 9th of June. I am gonna be 34 soon. I'm gonna be so old. You should see the look Shay's doing. She's pretending to be a little old lady. I say pretending. She is a little old lady, aren't you? She's not saying anything. I think I'm in the doghouse. Oh dear. Um, I'm currently reading The City and the Stars by Arthur C. Clarke. I think I was reading that yesterday. It's still all right. I had a big uh, load of vinyl records arrive today in the post, so I um, started sorting through those. Mostly the Johnny Cash. Uh, Shay's giving me the thumbs up. <laughs> She's happy with that. So yeah, mostly the Johnny Cash ones out of that I'm keeping. Uh, there was an Emmy Lou Harris in there as well. The rest of them are all going to go on my eBay. I'll link to my eBay below if you want to check that out. Shay is currently playing balloons on her phone. She's done a bit of Hello Kitty magic painting. Um, she's got into Wii Fit, haven't you, Shay Shay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's going to do some more Wii Fit later. Fun. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about going to the open mic tonight at the art centre, but I don't think I could be asked. So, and I am going to the art centre tomorrow to play a gig there anyway. Um, and then on Sunday for my birthday, I'm going to open the million pound worth of presents that Shay's bought me, and which is why she's now skint. And um, then we're going to go to Odds Farm Park to recreate our first date, because it's one of the little things on the date ideas on the back of the door. And so we can go to Odds Farm, see some animals, play some mini golf, and it'll be a lovely little birthday. So that's, that's the plan. Hello everybody, it is what it is, 8pm uh, on Monday the 12th of June 2023, I am now officially 34 years old, I am very old. What do I got for my birthday, I got some nice stuff from my friends and family members, so I got some nice cards from my family, some Amazon vouchers, my dad's paid for us to go and have uh, some like vegan cream tea, which would be nice, so uh, Shay and I will enjoy that soon. Shay got me loads of goodies, she got me a basket over there, it's got some um, sweets in it, some foods, um, she got me a cool t-shirt that I'm looking forward to wear, which is a, a, like a pride t-shirt, she got me a book that's customised with my name and various other bits in it, which I'm looking forward to reading, uh, she got a Lego kit for us to build, some solar lights out for the garden, just some all in all some really good stuff, I'm sure I've forgotten something and she will kill me for it, but um, yes, it was really nice, really, really thoughtful gift, so thank you Shay. Um, didn't do a huge amount, so my band played at Music of the Garden at the Art Centre on on uh, Saturday the 10th, and that was quite good. And then Sunday, to be honest, I slept for a lot of the day. Um, we're, we're in the middle of a heat wave here, so I'm just melting. So I'm just doing my best to, you know, keep going. I finished reading The City and the Stars by Arthur C. Clarke for 3.5 out of 5. I'm now reading Speedy and Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson, which is book number 28, I think it is. Book number 20, 28 in the Oz series. Um, only started reading it today, but I've made some tabs, so I will be doing a review uh, later on of that. And I think that's about it, you know. Um, other than that, just being productive. My Dropbox is playing up, so it's not copying, uh, not synchronizing files on my desktop PC at the moment, which is a bit of a pain, because that's what I use to synchronize stuff over from my desktop PC to my 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 Mac. I also, you know, hop between my desktop and my laptop to uh, do some work in the evening, so the fact it's not synchronising is a ball ache. Um, but I've just done an advanced reinstall of Dropbox and hopefully that's going to fix it. If not, I don't know what the plan is. I don't know what else I can do, really. Um, yeah, I don't know what else I can do. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, I think I'm just going to continue this vlog into another week, so we'll do that. Alright. I'm trying to take photos of these records, but Biggie is in the way. Aren't you, Biggie? Yeah, he's very cute. 
Yo, hello and greetings. It is 10 past 8 on Tuesday the 13th of June 2023 and I am fucking boiling. It is ridiculously hot. Oh, I am wearing my very cool new Love is Love t-shirt though. Uh, I'm still reading Speedy and Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson. It's almost finished 3.5 out of 5. It's been pretty good actually. Um, I mean, there's only so much you can say about these kind of continuation of the Oz series, but for what it is, it's aight. Um, I have been enjoying it, which has been somewhat to my surprise. And um, yeah, even though I wouldn't recommend like skipping in the Oz books, if you were to do so, this would be a pretty good one to pick up, you know. Um, I did an interview earlier for the radio show, so there's that. Uh, my next book I'm going to pick up is Rendezvous with Rama by Arthur C. Clarke. Um, I just made a tofu scramble that was delicious. And I'm kind of running out of work, which isn't good, um, but I do have a little bit of video editing I can do now, so I'm going to concentrate on cracking on with doing that, um, because that means I can sort some eBay shit and hopefully sell some stuff on eBay and make some money that way, because, you know, money, stressful, fucking stressful life. Oh, and Shay had her wisdom teeth taken out yesterday, so she's in a lot of pain, so I went around early with some flowers and some other bits and bobs as like a little care package for her. Hello, it is um, half past five on Wednesday the 14th of June. Um, I finished reading Speedy and Oz, that was very good. Well, it was very good for an Oz book anyway, I gave it 3.5 out of 5. I'm now reading Rendezvous with Rama by Arthur C. Clarke, it's one of his like better known sci-fi books. And as you can tell from the number of tabs in it, I am really enjoying it so far. I am looking forward to doing a full review of this one. I'm going to start filming that in a little bit. I'm all up to date with pretty much all of my editing, I've just got some more files to copy over to my Mac so I can edit those. Um, and then, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm kind of up to date with most of my work as well. I don't have too much left left to do. I'm, I've got some filming to do for a client later. Uh, I've got a couple of projects that are coming in soon, so I'm just waiting for those. Um, so in the meantime, I'll probably have a relatively chill day. Uh, I played some My Sims in bed last night. That was fun. Did my Wii Fit. You know, just cracking on, cracking on. Although I have put on some more weight, so that's annoying. Um, and I'm not sure what I'm going to have for dinner yet, I haven't decided. Shay is still recovering from her um, um, uh, wisdom teeth removal surgery. She's been to the dentist again today because she's been in a lot of pain. Uh, and she has an infection on one side of her mouth, so um, they're hopefully treating that. And yes, that's, that's about it. I don't have anything else to update you guys on. Curry! And new trombone when the nuclear arms race got out of control. And work. Yo, hello everybody. It is currently, where are you going Biggie? Oh shit, he's going for the window, he keeps trying to escape. Oh, it is currently quarter to ten on Thursday the 19th, 15th of June. I'm very hay fever, I don't feel too good. I'm also currently kind of nocturnal and just slammed with work and all kinds of stuff. Um, not with work, with life, admin. Pardon me. I don't know. I, I'm losing my mind because of this hay fever. It's hard to concentrate. Anyway, I'm still reading Rendezvous with Rama by Arthur C. Clarke. It's still very good. Maybe even a 4.5 out of 5 at this point. We'll see. We'll see if it sticks the landing. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm going to go make some food in a bit because I'm hungry. Hello everybody, it is me. It is currently 20 past 9 on Friday the 16th of June. I'm still reading Rendezvous with Rama by Arthur C. Clarke, but I'm literally on the last 10 pages. They are just leaving Rama now. Um, strong 4.5 out of 5, full review coming soon. And uh, yes, very probably the best Arthur C. Clarke book I've read. Definitely enjoyed it more than 2001 A Space Odyssey. Not that there was anything particularly wrong with that book, I just preferred Rendezvous with Rama. Um, I am currently watching The Kidnap of Angel Lynn, uh, which is a documentary on Channel 4 Documentaries here on YouTube. Um, I'm going to be doing a bit of filming and a bit of editing. I've got a guy playing a Let's Play of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, because when I'm editing I tend to watch people play video games. Um, and yes, the, the last... Um, Excuse me, the last, I've just finished watching somebody play uh, Final Fantasy XI, and that was a big old playlist. Um, so I'm looking forward now to, to watching a new game. That's all I've got for you, I don't have much more to say. Um, running out of work, I did get paid my bonus from one of my clients earlier, which is good. Um, so I should now, I mean I still don't quite have enough money, but I am almost have enough money to pay for the, uh, the land here, which is something I'm doing, I'm buying the freehold that this house is on. Um, so yes, almost have enough money for that. And um, yeah, then after that I can pay tax. Then after that I can pay off my overdraft and then after that I can get a car, hopefully. So we will see. Maybe I'll have that by the time I'm 35. Hello everybody, it's uh, 
two in the morning uh, on, I guess, Saturday the 17th of, of June. I just wanted to update you. I read the Book of Dane by Wonderbly. This was a cute little book that uh, Shay got me for my birthday, which is literally a customised book all about me, um, with some very cool stuff, like my happy place in bed with Shay. Very nice. Uh, yeah, five out of five. Really enjoyed it. Custom little book. Very awesome addition to my uh, collection. And now I've just picked up Prelude to Space by Arthur C. Clarke. Uh, and there will probably be a review of this coming soon. Hello, it is still just about Sunday, uh, Saturday the 17th, whatever. Um, I did sleep earlier. I'm thinking about sleeping again, to be honest. I'm, no, my head's in a bit of a weird place, so I just could do with getting some sleep, you know? I want to sleep and then maybe wake up at a relatively normal time tomorrow. I did make a little trip to the shop earlier, so I got some food now. Um, so I've got food in, I've watered the garden, basically all of my shit is done and um, work is relatively quiet so I, if I want to sleep I can so I'm going to. And I'm, I'm reading uh, Prelude to Space by Arthur C. Clarke. It is falling apart as you can see um, but I will be doing a review of it soon. Hello, it is currently um, 25 past 2 on Sunday the 18th of June. I've had a big old move around, so I don't know if you can see here, that's where my window is there. So this, let me show you. So that sofa there used to be over there. That's my Mac that used to be in that corner there. And then my PC there used to be up against the window. Um, but I moved the PC and the Mac over there, so I've got my three screens set up. I uh, moved the sofa there. Got these, got that. And now there's this chair here for Biggie to sit on. And also it's very easy for me to look outside into the garden. Uh, you can see all my plants and stuff growing out there as well, very nice. Um, but yeah, so this is now the little setup I have that I see. And hopefully, basically because of where, where the windows were, I used to have to have the window, the curtains closed like during the daytime most of the time because the sun would come straight into my face because the monitors were against it. So now the sunlight kind of comes in just past me like that and I can see my monitor's okay with the with the windows open. So that's quite nice. I can get some more light, some more sunlight. Um, did my wee fit earlier as well. Um, just been cracking on with being productive. Um, been doing some work. I'm pretty bored to be honest because Shay is still not great with her uh, teeth. Uh, after having her wisdom teeth out, but she doesn't want to see me until she's healed because she says she looks like a chipmunk So um, I've taken her a little care package and stuff, but I'm missing her a lot and Yeah, just cracking on with work while I can in the meantime, I guess although I'm kind of at the point where I'm almost out of work now um, I'm still reading prelude to space by Arthur C. Clarke. It's still alright probably a strong 3.5 out of 5 review coming soon um, and then afterwards, I think I'm going to read Growing Fruit, The Complete Guide to Growing Fruit at Home, which came free when I ordered some fruit trees. So there's that. Um, but I might actually go to bed soon because I'm tired. Uh, but that is actually a good place to leave this week's vlog. So uh, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. <laughs>